Come in. Are you Miss Davis? Yes, and you must be Mr. Dada. Yes, that is me. That is I. Good to meet you. Have a seat. Thank you. Is it still raining? No, it stopped. Oh, good. How long did it take you to get here? About one hour. Not too much traffic? No. Good. Now, I'll be asking you a lot of questions, and of course I expect you to be truthful. Of course. Please stand and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. You may sit down again. Do you know what kind of promise you just made? An oath. I believe it is called an oath. Exactly. And can you tell me why you've come here today? Why? Because I hope to become a citizen of the United States. Very good. Do you have your identification with you and your passport photos? Yes. Here is my green card. And here is my passport from Togo. Very good. Now, what is your full name? My first name is Ola, my middle name is Yinka, and my last name is Dada. Ola Yinka Dada. Very good. And when did you become a permanent resident of the U.S.? Almost eight years ago. Excellent. Are you or have you ever been married? No, I know. Is the address on your application correct? Yes, it is. On the form, we have your phone number as 212-555-2824. Is this correct? Yes, that is my only phone, and my email address is correct also. Good. Now, here are some easy questions. Are you male? Yes. Are you black or African American? Yes, I am. What color is your hair? Black. And do you have brown eyes? Yes, I do. Good. Your application says that you have had two addresses in the last five years. Where you live now and one other address, is this true? Yes, it is. I, live, I lived with my brother and my cousin my first four years in America. And did you attend college in Togo? No, I did not. I received my bachelor's degree in the United States in accounting. And since graduating from college, you've worked at the same company? Yes, it is a very good company. I recently received a promotion. Very good. I see you traveled outside the United States three times in the last five years. Yes, I took three trips. Can you tell me about those trips, please? Yes. My first trip, my uncle sent, it, sent me a plane ticket and I visited him in London. I stayed nine, no wait, ten days. Good. Uh, by the way, there is no reason to be nervous. You are allowed to travel outside of the United States. <laughs> Thank you. And you visited Mexico, too. Was that a vacation? Yes. Last winter, I went to Cancun with my brother and my cousin. That sounds like fun. It was. I really liked Cancun. What about this two-day trip to Canada? I drove to Toronto for work with my boss. Um, before we go on, I just want to make sure of one thing. You've never been married before, right? Right. Never. I have never been married. Okay. Then the next part of the application doesn't apply to your case. Doesn't? Can you say that again, please? I said the next part of the application doesn't apply in your case. That's because you've never been married. Ah, uh, yes, because I do not have a wife. What about children? How many sons and daughters have you had? Even though you've never been married, you might have children. How many? I'm sorry, can you please repeat the question exactly? Sure. How many sons and daughters have you had? I do not have any children. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a citizen of the United States in writing or in any other way? Have I ever claimed to be a citizen? Ah, no, I, no, I have not. Okay. You haven't ever voted in this country, have you? No, I know. I did not vote, ever. I can't. I'm not a citizen. You don't have any title of nobility in a foreign country, do you? No, I am not a nobility. A nobleman. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution within the last five years? Have I ever been declared legally incompetent? Right. Have you? No. And you weren't ever a patient in a mental institution, were you? No. I do not have any mental problems. By the way, you're doing fine. Your answers are all very good. Oh, good. Now, have you ever been a member of or associated with 
any organization, association, fund foundation, party, society, club, or any similar group in the United States or any other place. I'm sorry. I must be a little bit nervous. I do not understand. Could you please say that more slowly? No need to be nervous. I asked about groups you have belonged to or been associated with. Oh yes, I remember. My brother told me to join a group that is for peace in my country. And did your brother also tell you you had to join the chess club? No, that was my idea. I am a very good chess player. <laughs> Since becoming a permanent U.S. resident, have you ever failed to file a tax return because you considered yourself a non-resident? I'm sorry, non-resident? Do you mean saying that I do not live in the United States? Yes, saying you're not a resident. No, I know I must always pay my taxes. Yes, you need to pay them, Mr. Dada. Uh, have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Excuse me, what does cited mean? Cited means told to appear in court. Oh no. So you've never been put in jail? No, I have never been put in jail. Have you ever sold or smuggled a controlled substance or illegal drugs or narcotics? Does controlled substance mean the same as a legal substance? Almost. A controlled substance is a drug a doctor might prescribe, but is otherwise illegal to buy or sell. No, no drugs. Have you ever lied to a U.S. government official to get into the United States? No, it is not a good idea to lie to the officials. You are right about that, Mr. Dada. Now, are there removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings pending against you? I'm not sure. Why not? Because I don't know what recess means. Oh, <laughs> rescission. That means revoking or canceling your legal permanent resident status. Now I understand. No, there is no proceedings. And have you ever left this country to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? I don't believe so. I left this country two, no, three times. I told you that. But it was never to escape being put into the army. I'm sure it wasn't. No, not at all. Now, do you support the Constitution of the United States? By support. Do you want to know if I am for them rather than against them? Yes, that's what I mean by support. Then yes, I totally support the Constitution and this kind of government. And are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Sure. What'd you say? I'm sorry. I was mistaken. I meant to say, yes, I am willing to take the oath of allegiance. Good. And if the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you saying that I would not have to carry a rifle, but I would have to follow military orders? Yes? Yes. Then yes, I would do that. I assume you've studied the 100 American history and government questions? Yes, I have. What are two cabinet-level positions? The President's Cabinet, the Secretary of Defense and State. Could you say that again? I'm sorry. The Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of State. Good. Now, what did the Declaration of Independence do? It said to Great Britain that the colonies wanted freedom. Excellent. Let's see. How many U.S. Senators are there? Fifty. No. One hundred. And can you say who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? The American Indians. Was that what you were looking for? Yes. In what month do we vote for president? In November. Yes. And what are the three branches of government? Executive. Legislative. And judicious? Could you repeat that last one? Oh, judicial. Very good. That's enough questions. Um, could you take this and please read this question back to me? Who was the second president of the United States? And please write this sentence. Adams was the second president.
I'm impressed. You have done an excellent job. I can see that you worked very hard to learn English and you prepared very well for this interview. I really appreciate you telling me this. So congratulations, you passed. Now all you need to do is sign this form here and here. Thank you. I know you are going to be a great American citizen. Thank you very much. You are very kind. It's my pleasure, Mr. Dada. Cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Xin trân trọng kính chào và hẹn gặp lại ở các video tiếp theo.